All right, boys and girls, we're doing another PC and setup roast today. Thank you guys so much for submitting your pictures and specs to my Twitter account at BitwitKyle. You can go ahead and follow me there if you haven't yet. I really do appreciate you guys uh, having a good sense of humor and being willing to uh, come together to help me make these videos and for also realizing and recognizing that this is strictly just for entertainment purposes. All the mean things I'm about to say to you are strictly just that. They're for fun. Uh, the only time I'm being serious is when I'm actually trying to sprinkle in little bits of advice and uh, little pro tips here about how you can improve your setups and your systems because I would like to see you guys improve in those areas, but all the mean things uh, are, are, just, uh, are just for fun. So thank you for not taking these videos too seriously. Let's go ahead and start with our first victim, O.M. Chatterjee. Chatter, what's, what's an interesting name? Maybe you should find a new Chatterjee when picking usernames. No, that was a terrible joke. Right out of the gate, terrible jokes. Uh, Core i5 9400F MSI B360M Pro VDH Micro ATX board. Corsair Vengeance, eight gigs of 2400 speed. Ooh, that's pretty low. Uh, GTX 1660 Zotac Gaming, six gigabyte. Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte. Kingston A400, 120 gig. SSD Corsair, okay, it looks like you got a V100 case for thermal take. I'm thinking of upgrading to a Ryzen 3700X. Can you recommend a low budget motherboard which supports overclocking? Okay, so you want to upgrade to, to Ryzen, or you want to switch platforms to Ryzen to AM4. I think that's probably a good move. You definitely have more of an upgrade path by doing that than your current platform with Intel. Do you really need a 3700X? That is something that only you can answer. Are you trying to render? Are you doing streaming, live encoding, and things like that? Uh, even if you are, you could still probably get away with you know just a, a good uh, GPU on the NVIDIA side by using NV encoder. Um, that way you wouldn't really have to tax your CPU in that regard. So unless you really need the eight cores and 16 threads, I would probably go with something like a Ryzen 5 3600, maybe a 3600X if you don't want to overclock and you just want some faster speeds out of the box. Uh, but I do think that switching over to Ryzen, probably not a bad idea. Um, as as far as the rest of your system goes, let's take a look here. Your case is pretty pretty dated. It's kind of shoddy. And look at there's no there's no intake whatsoever. You have two exhaust fans, but nothing on the front. So it's just strictly negative airflow, negative air pressure, which you know it, it's going to get dusty at some point, uh, a lot quicker than it would if it was positive air pressure or at least more neutral than it is here. I think you should also upgrade your GPU at some point because the GTX 1060, while it's fine you could get a little higher up there. I think if you're if you're striving for gaming performance, you're gonna wanna upgrade your GPU more than your CPU. The Core i5-9400F is a perfectly fine gaming chip and can handle much faster than the GTX 1060. Because right now, let's face it, your frame rate's looking pretty low. I mean, your frame rate's probably so low, you, you think Crisis Remastered is a comic book. And, and I, for the record, aesthetically, at first when I opened this picture, I thought your PC had skid marks. Not that anyone would be upset if you wiped your ass with this system. I mean, it'd probably make it look better afterwards. And you know, for working in a crappy case like this, you actually did a pretty good job with cable management. So kudos there. But I will say, I've been to Dodger games with less ketchup and mustard than this. It's pretty awful, man. So like, congratulations. You're, you're the first streamer to get swatted by freaking Heinz. And, and your motherboard is too small for your case. It's micro ATX. This is an ATX chassis. It looks weird. There's a bit of motherboard dwarfism going on here. And your GPU is just overall too small looking for the build. So I, I don't know. Is there anything else of yours that's too small? You know, I'm going to switch gears here. Let's take a look at your, your setup. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is this? Is this a, a four by three monitor? This is, this is the same display my dentist uses to show me x-rays of my teeth. Like, how do you game on a monitor that's meant for a hotel concierge? And the other thing is that you know your PC sucks when you gotta buy a piece of grass to make games feel more immersive. That's just sad. And you know, I gotta say your room is looking a little rough. All right, it's kind of a disaster. Like, do you ever go to the gulag just to escape the hole you're in? Because I, I know you play Warzone. You've got all 50 installation discs right here. Okay, you can't fool me. And why, this is so strange, why is there a deadbolt lock on your door that's like three inches off the ground. Why is it so low? Like, do you, do you share the room with a paranoid toddler? What's going on here? And you know what, on a final note, I would have been surprised to see the water pipe, but I think we already knew your frame rate was never the highest thing in the room. All right, moving on to the donut with a Core i7-9700K at 5.1 gigahertz on all cores, 32 gigs of CL16 3000 speed memory, DDR4 RX 5700 XT reference from ASUS, triple 144 hertz, 1080p, one millisecond AOC monitors via DisplayPort, one terabyte NVMe, crappy 4U server case, and cooler and AIO and push-pull. All right, and then some other specs. All right, let's take a look at your PC. Wow, you were not kidding when you said this was a crappy case. Holy Toledo, how does it feel to have a crappier case than the Walmart PC? 
And look at this AIO, it's, it's set to exhaust. It's actually exhausting heat out the front of it, which makes me curious, where the heck is your GPU getting airflow from? Are people sending it thoughts and prayers? I, I just, I don't understand. It's so dark and dirty down here, kind of creepy. Is that why your PC looks like it's in one of the Saw movies? Like, I could just kind of hear it screaming, like, I want to play a game, but I can't without overheating. Doesn't look like it's getting much airflow there. Not good. Let's take a look at your setup. Oh my god. What? Hold on. Hold, hold the phone. What, what size ashtray is this? Small, medium, or cry for help? What's going on, man? Like, I, I, don't, I don't even know. There is so much tar buildup in this room that this picture looks like it has an Instagram filter on it. So I have two questions for you, Lead Donut. One, do you ever wonder if your wall has more holes in it than your lungs? And two, with your PC under the desk, which one of you has a harder time breathing? You know, I'm kidding, man, these are just jokes, all right? Hey, at least you have a pop filter. I'm sure it helps when you're coughing up tar, right? And you've got, you've got two packs of cigarettes here. Looks like three lighters. Like, how many cigarettes are you smoking at a time? Are you making cross joints with them? This is hilarious. Look at this. There's a car stereo unit on your desk. Uh, you've got a 3.5 millimeter cable that looks like it's going from your PC to the stereo unit. And then from there, you've probably connected these bookshelf speakers too. So you're using it as like an audio interface. I don't, is this like a half-ass racing sim? Like, what are you trying to pull off here? And a better question, if the stereo unit's here, what the hell's in your car? A fan controller? And you know, I'm gonna end this on a good note for you, LaDonut, because I think there's one thing about this setup that's so redeeming, it's worth mentioning your displays. You got a triple panel setup, very clean, nice ergo stand, they're all matching, and I think it's really cool that you have one monitor for each year that you have left. All right, we're moving on to Pee Wee Herman. I hope to God this is not the real Pee Wee Herman, that would make me uncomfortable. Very scuffed, specs, CPU is an Intel Core i7-4790K with a Noctua NHD15S, an ASRock H97M Pro 4 Micro ATX motherboard, 16 gigs of DDR3 1600 speed, EVGA GTX uh, 1060, six gigabyte, and a Fantex Eclipse P400S ATX with a 600 watt EVGA power supply. You also put Windows 10 on a Chromebook, your dad broke his chair, oh, your dad broke his chair and stole yours, you have a rock band mic, but you're getting a new one soon, you're planning to fix your cable management. All right, the PC pick that you sent isn't the best, the tempered glass side panels on it and stuff, and there's really not a whole lot unique going on here, so we're gonna skip your PC here, but there's plenty to talk about with your setup. All right, the first thing I'll address is your dad. Your dad's kind of a scumbag. He stole your chair? It's kind of a move, isn't it? So, I mean, my question is, did he steal your trash can too? Because you got crap all over your floor, bro. Like, pick up after yourself, all right? Get, get a freaking trash can and get a new chair. Because what is this? What, what is this? Did you steal this from someone's wedding reception? What brand is this? Herman Miller Lite? Uh, least ergonomic looking chair I've ever seen, okay? G good luck looking at that top monitor when you develop scoliosis. I get that it's a folding chair, but why does your desk look like it's even more collapsible? The second this subwoofer goes off, it, the bass ain't gonna be the only thing that's dropping. You know what I'm saying? This ain't a battle station. It's a rattle station. And I love that instead of getting a bigger desk to fit all your stuff, you just threw it on the floor, like I said, along with your PC, which is never good. Your PC's on the floor, it's probably having a hard time just getting all dusty and stuff. And way to put the Chromebook on top of it, you know, like, like your desk, you know your desk sucks when you gotta start using your PC as one. And how do, you, how do you even use the Chromebook when it's down there? Like you gotta like angle, is that like where the scoliosis comes in handy? Uh, and you know, stacking them like that just causes them to dump heat onto each other. It's, it's like a toxic relationship. It's like two people coughing into each other's mouths. It's disgusting. Take that off, take it, move it somewhere else. Your cable situation is also so bad that I thought you had Travis Scott hiding underneath your desk. That's how terrible this is. How does, how does your setup possibly have worse cable management than the vault from Half-Life Alex? It's, it's, it's insane. You know, it's just a shame, Mr. Herman, that, that this setup could have had so much potential if you just cleaned up your shit and didn't buy all your furniture from wish.com. Let's move on before I give myself an aneurysm. Oh God, out of the frying pan into the fryer, the great mixer. What is that? Okay, we'll get to that. Setup specs, Intel Core i5 to 2340M. Oh God, four gigs of RAM. Ah, ah, my head. Oh, no SSD. Ah, oh God, it just gets worse. It just gets worse. What? Okay. Hey, look, it's where Lyle learned how to drive. The only thing this is simulating is what it's like to live in your car. I'm pretty sure it's, there's nothing else going on here. I take that back. You know, garbage truck simulator is probably pretty accurate on here. Nailed it. No, this setup looks so sketchy, I wouldn't use it without a seatbelt. This is every race car driver's rock bottom. 
right? Like, like they still have a need for speed, but now it's the kind that comes in a dime bag. Your laptop is slow and depressing, which probably just makes the whole experience feel like your real car. On the bright side, you don't have any cables underneath your desk because they're all on top of it. Great strategy. If I ever got into an Uber that looked like this, I'd start memorizing all the street signs passing by. Just seeing where the sun is in the sky so I could triangulate where he's trying to bury me. You know, just, just rate him a one star right before he kills me. Car was kind of messy. Not a great conversation. All right, Caesar Palace cat, what do you got? I guess a previous tweet of mine was premature. Hoo hoo. Wife setup. Okay, so this is your wife setup. Dark flash case, second gen Core i5, AliExpress motherboard with without accessible fan headers. That that kind of sucks. Eight gigs of RAM, 128 gig SSD, 500 gigs. Okay, and then an a Radeon HD 6900 series GPU. CD player for speakers. What? Okay, well we'll have to come back to that. See reply for internals. All right, so this is your wife's. This is your wife's PC and setup, but I'm assuming that you set it up for her. So we can blame you for everything. That's fantastic. I will say that your cable management is actually pretty clean. Good job. You figured out how cutouts work. Why don't you take the day off? I don't see a single case fan in here. That's probably because you bought a crappy AliExpress motherboard that doesn't have accessible fan headers. I'm still not exactly sure what you mean by that. Does that just mean you can't find them or they're not on the board or they're being covered by something, I'm not sure. At any rate, I really hope your wife isn't doing anything demanding on this system because it literally has zero active cooling on the case. Apart from the, uh, the actual fan on the cooler and you know the power supply and, and, the, and the GPU, it's, it's just a little hot box. So hopefully she's just using this for Pinterest, you know? I, I'd hate to see her do anything more than that. This SSD sticker is not only ugly, but it's upside down, making it extra ugly. You should remove it. It will literally take you 10 seconds. And it's not like you can usually spend more than 10 seconds in your wife's chassis anyway. So far, I'm not very impressed, Caesar. Let's take a look at this setup. Good God, man. I'm really starting to think you hate your wife. Like, what did she do to you? If anything, this woman deserves a medal just for sticking with your What's with the Huggies boxes? I mean, th this setup is so low to the ground, you have to be wearing Huggies to use it. Seriously though, this looks so uncomfortable. Like what kind of contortionist do you have to be to, you know, like, like tell me your wife has no legs. Tell me that she lost them in some freak accident. That would make me feel so much better. You know, it's throwing me off because I can't tell if you're a genius or a lunatic. Like, like who sees an empty diaper box and goes, holy ish, free furniture. Honey, cancel the appointment at Living Spaces. It's just the most resourceful thing I've ever seen. You're making Native Americans look like regular Americans. Like I'm curious, is your kid's crib just the box your TV came in? Like, I do have a suggestion though here. Like, why not stack two more diaper boxes so your wife doesn't have to sit like an ass? Like, why, why quit here? Don't you need more diapers? Did your baby stop sh -ish? Make the desk higher, get her a real chair, stop making her sit on the same beanbag my cats sleep on. And I, and I know going out and buying stuff can be difficult these days with quarantine and all, but you can buy all that stuff on Amazon which is a website that you access using the internet. I'm assuming you don't know what any of those things are yet because you're still using a freaking CD player, all right? Your, your infant child probably had to tweak this for you. And you can't possibly still be using that thing with a full-blown desktop PC right next to it. That's, that's like painful, that's like painful to watch. That's like watching Fred Flintstone trying to move a Bugatti with his feet. I've just got two more suggestions for you guys and I'll be out of your hair forever, okay? Caesar, find a new desk. Caesar's wife, find a new husband. One more roast in the bag. Go ahead and roast that like button until it turns blue. Why would it turn blue if you're roasting it? There's blue fire out there. It makes sense in a weird way. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe for more roasts and more just random tech content and shenanigans on the way. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, guys. I will see y'all in the next video.